Hello, Mr. Santiago. My name is Rebecca Fowler, and I'm your nurse practitioner today. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just want to verify a couple of things on your chart, if you don't mind. Sure. It says that you don't have any allergies. I'm wondering if that's so. That's correct. Okay. Your chart also says that uh, you're taking Zoloft 50 milligrams at bedtime for depression, and that you also take Tylenol 500 milligrams, two or three tablets um, a day for aches and pains. Is that correct? I do that pretty regular. Okay. Uh, do you take any other medications, whether that's prescriptions or over-the-counter meds? No, I'm not taking anything else. Um, oh, one of the things I wanted to check on was I heard St. John's Ward is good for depression and energy, and I was hoping maybe that it might be something I could explore, giving me more energy and helping me get out a little bit better during the day. Um, so maybe I could talk to a pharmacist about that. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you're having such a hard time. What we'll do after this is I'll set you up with our pharmacist here, and they'll be able to talk to you about all of your medications and okay. discuss that right. as well. Thank okay? You. So I'd like to know a little bit more about this not wanting to get out, feeling kind of down. Tell me a little bit more about what's happening. Well, um, over the last little bit, probably the last month, I just you know, wake up in the mornings, so I just have no energy, and I'm waking up with headaches now, and it's just like, it's so hard to get up in the morning. So during the morning, I, I don't do much, and finally, if I'm, I'm up and about and, and do some things, I start feeling better, but it's just, you know, bad headache and, and just no energy. I'd like to know more about these headaches. Do you find that they are dull or sharp in, in pain? I would say they tend to be dull, and they're, you know, it's like they're it's just sort of hurting right across the, the top of my forehead there. Do you have any vision changes with that, any blurring or double vision with that headache? I, I think I have blurring. I don't have double vision, but, but when it's happening in the mornings when I'm getting up, yeah, my vision can be a little blurry from time to time, and, and maybe a little lightheadedness. Uh, not enough that I'm falling down, but a little dizziness, lightheadedness that goes with it. Okay. How about nausea and vomiting? Well, yeah. I've, I've, I've woken up some mornings and I've, I've felt kind of nauseous. I think maybe one time I threw up, but um, I hadn't thought about that. Okay. Yeah, so a little nauseous in the morning. Is it always associated with the headache? Yeah, when, well, when the headache goes away, the nausea's gone away. The nausea, okay. once it's gone, the headache is gone. Okay, so they seem to be related yeah. in your mind. Have you changed your diet recently? No, not that I know of. I, um, the power was off for a while, and so we started cooking on the grill, and so that was where I was doing most of the, the cooking out on the screen and porch. Simple foods, I'm not doing much, just some chicken, hot dogs, beans and potatoes, nothing, okay. nothing fancy. All right. Uh, but not unusual for what you've been eating normally. Oh, no. Okay. Um, you said that you've been more tired, and um, how long do you think that's been going on, that you've noticed this kind of change in your energy level? Probably about three weeks or so. Okay. So it's you a know, definite change from what was before. It, you know, well, yes, and I was... Wondering if I just have a cold. I mean, it's, I feel you, know, you have a cold, and then after the runny nose or whatever is gone, and it's you just sort of drag on, and it hangs on and hangs on. So I've been coughing a little bit, and just feel like you know the cold's hanging on. Do you have any other symptoms of a cold at this point? No, just well, just the the tiredness. A couple of other questions that seem unrelated, but I wanted to ask you: Do you find any bruising that you bruise easily, or that you have unusual bleeding? No, not that I noticed. How about joint pain or deep aching kinds of pains? No, not so much. Okay. So um, as you're, have you been out of the country recently? No, I don't have any money for that. Okay. All right. How about um, any changes in your job or your living arrangements? No, I, I have been diagnosed with PTSD, and I'm seeing a therapist for that. I also have a, a, a service dog, Siri. She's usually with me everywhere, but she's not feeling so well, so I left her in the truck because I thought I could manage coming in here because I've been here before. Um, we've lived in the same house for, for several years now. The power was off for a little while this fall, 
And now that I had enough money and some help from, from social services, I got it turned back on. So the house kind of feels normal again. I mean, we've got a little oil for, for the winter, so I'm using that carefully. But um, other changes? No, not so much. Are there any other health problems that I should know about? Well, uh, so the therapist and I have been working on a number of things, and, and she thinks I'm doing okay. Um, so in our, I've talked to her about this lack of energy, and, and she was wondering if it's just part of the depression, another part of the depression. And, you know, I don't think that it is. It just feels different. Um, so whether it's the cold or, or whatever, Siri feels bad, I feel bad, I have headaches. I just... Okay. Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a physical exam on you. We may draw some blood work. And then after all that, I'm going to go ahead and have the pharmacist join me when we get ready to do the uh, discussion about our plan of action. So you'll be able to ask the questions you have about your medications and St. John's Wards and the other things so that we can have a clear path of how we should proceed from here. Okay. So I'm just going to have you take off your shirt, put on the gown, hop on the table, and I'll be right back. All okay? right. Thank you. You're welcome.